Welcome back to the Lenten Lessons in the Mass, Premium Edition. My name is Father Rocky. We are in the Chapel of the Nativity of Relevant Radio in Green Bay, Wisconsin. We're going through this step by step so I can share a little bit with you a deeper understanding of the Mass. So after the colic, the people sit down. This raises up a question. Why do we stand? Why do we sit? Why do we kneel? Why are we doing all those sorts of things? There's a couple of reasons. One practical reason is when you change your posture, your blood moves around and you become more attentive. Very important here. But also we stand at attention when something is important and we kneel in the presence of something sacred. So um, at this point, people have prayed whenever we offer this prayer with the priest's hands out like this, praying up to God, uh, we're standing. Now people sit because it's time to move to the second part of the Mass. The first part of Mass was known as the introductory rites, and now we move into the liturgy of the Word. Liturgy of the Word. The priest walks over to the lectern, specifically called an ambo, A-M-B-O. He can do the readings, or anybody else can do the readings. Who should do the readings at Mass? I have just one rule, someone who reads well. <laughs> Teachers, be aware of that. When you have school masses, it's okay if someone doesn't read well that they don't read at mass. No hard feelings. Some people have been given some talents and others have not been given those talents. I know I don't have the talent to make it to be a professional player in the NBA. How do I know that? I got cut from the basketball team in fifth grade and in sixth grade, and in seventh grade, and in eighth grade. It took me a while to figure out, I'm not gonna make the basketball team. And thank God my parents didn't uh, pressure the coaches and the teachers to make me feel good about myself. I had to find something else I could do. But I did learn I could read well, and I like to read well. So when you choose a reader for the Mass, please choose someone who reads well because the Mass is the most important thing we do. It's the most important kind of work we do. So the priest at the ambo or the reader has in their hand what's called a lectionary, L-E-C-T-I-O-N-A-R-Y. The word lexio is Latin for lesson because in this book we're going to have lessons. We have readings from the Bible, only from the Bible. Not from any other books, only from the Bible. And the readings are established and selected by the church authorities. There's a ribbon here to mark the day. And here today, I have for Tuesday of the second week in ordinary time. People are sitting. And the priest says, a reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, God is not unjust so as to overlook your work and the love you have demonstrated for his name by having served and continuing to serve the Holy Ones. Stop. At this point, most people are lost. They are in a fog. They don't understand what is going on. That's why I think it's important to be able to read it as well, especially when you're reading St. Paul, because he can be dense. He can be confusing. He can be really deep. You really have to work at it. The Gospels are a lot easier, especially when they're stories. So the priest continues reading that, and at the end he says, the word of the Lord, and people say, thanks be to God. And remember what Jesus said. He said, go out into the whole world and spread the good news. So if you liked what you learned today, please tell your friends about it.